Have you ever seen an advertisement only to be disappointed by the end result? So you see, advertisers job to sell you the product, not to tell you everything pro and con about it. See, this is where it comes in handy for people who have had experience with that product to let you know the pros and cons about it, which is what I want to get into. So let's get to it. How you doing, guys? You know, in every walk of life, no matter where you go, you always seem to have undesirables that kind of filter their way into certain situations. That holds true with the HJWs as well, and I've seen this over the years. I think it was about two and a half years ago, if not quite two and a half, that JW Abuse Hotline kind of weaseled his way in. And it wasn't too long before people kind of realized what he was, and we all found out that he was shystering quite a bit of money out of people number of people came up with videos and exposed them and sent them off in obscurity. Then, of course, we'd have a number of sexual predators that kind of weasel their way in. And in every case, it doesn't take long before people see through it and expose them. As a matter of fact, it was Smurf Girl just about a month ago who dragged one out into the open. But I have noticed in every case that they always have their defenders. As a matter of fact, with J.W. Abuse Hotline, that was that crocodile wannabe from Oklahoma who came out in his defense without really knowing his facts, or he was very well aware of what he was doing. And the same thing applies to the sexual predators. Most of the sexual predators, they kind of stand out. When people come out in their defense, what they're not realizing is we are all watching the comments section. Matter of fact, when I, I did my series of videos on BP a few months ago, there were a number, number of people that came out in his defense. The problem is, to defend somebody, you've got to be 100% sure of your facts before you defend them. Because most of these people were people that were all for dragging out the JW predators out into the open. Yet, just because somebody was an ex-Jehovah's Witness, they wanted to overlook it. And this is something that we all see, and this is something that we all notice. So I kind of question anybody in the comments section that defends predators, because I can't take them serious anymore. As a matter of fact, when these same people comment on my videos, I really don't have any response for them. Like I said, you have to be 100% sure of your facts before you come out in defense of these people. Which brings me to the Kingdom Hall. Let's face it, for any one of us who came into the Jehovah's Witnesses from the outside, we all had the same thing happen. We all had those people trying to deter us, trying to steer us away from the Kingdom Hall. This happened to me in 2006. The problem was, the people that tried to steer me away from the Kingdom Hall to get me away from Jehovah's Witnesses knew nothing about them. I had one guy say to me, you should hear what my minister has to say about them. Well, I can pretty well guess what he has to say about them. But he has never been on the inside. And the more I heard from them, the more I realized that they were getting their facts totally wrong, so I could not take them serious. The one thing I wish I had my eyes open for was the other side of the coin. Jehovah's Witnesses are salesmen. They're salesmen for a corporation. We all got this at the Kingdom Hall with the love bombing and the promotion of the organization. They pushed this organization like it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. And that was a little bit culty. That was something I wish I had paid a little bit more attention to, but many of us did not. It took a few years of lumps and bruises before I started taking notice to it. But when you actually push it, the worst thing you will hear any JW, indoctrinated JW say about the organization is that it's a perfect organization run by imperfect men. That's kind of like saying I drive the safest car on the highway, I'm just a shitty driver. But they push it and they push it and they push it. 
Now, when I started fading, I kind of felt on my own. I knew nothing about the XJW community. I came across them sheerly accidentally. So I pretty much was kept to myself. I couldn't discuss my findings with anybody in my congregation because basically you couldn't trust them. Anything that you said would definitely be used against you. Again, people on the outside of the organization didn't understand the inner workings of the organization, so you really couldn't discuss it with them. I came across the XJWs on YouTube sheerly accidentally, and that was kind of like a breath of fresh air. Finally, I was seeing people, listening to people that knew the same things I did, and in some cases, more than I knew. But then comes the trolls. See, there are different kinds of JWs on YouTube. We all have them in our comments section. We, of course, have the PMOs, the physically and mentally out, who would love nothing better than get away from the organization, knowing full well what it's about. Then we have the JW trolls that do nothing but try to deter you. They try and stop you. They try and slow you down. Now, the indoctrinated JW would love to see every one of us off of YouTube, but they're not realizing their attacks are very childish. They are not going to do that. What they're not realizing is we are not here for them. And my message to the trolls is, if you're happy as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, have at it. Stay there. You shouldn't be here anyways. And for that matter, why are you here? The reason XJWs are here on YouTube are for those in the organization that either want out or are unsure, or much like I did, felt totally alone with what they knew. See, it's not the case. There are many people who have left. There are many people who are leaving. And there are some JWs that are still totally perplexed by what's going on. So they kind of need that review, that feedback from somebody who's been involved, who knows what they're talking about. See, the trolls don't seem to get it. When the trolls attack the channel and they see an XJW, and it doesn't matter what ex-Jehovah's Witness channel they're watching, they only see one thing. I'm a mentally diseased apostate, and I'm here for your soul. See, Jehovah's Witnesses, you are the advertisers. You are the salesmen for the corporation. You won't give the pros and cons. See, there are also many people that you're trying to lure into the organization. But they need a review. They need to hear the pros and cons before they dive in. See, you won't tell anybody the pros and cons because you want to sell watchtowers, watchtower, watchtower. So what do we do? We give those reviews from an inside perspective because we have been inside. Apparently you don't like it, but it's something that's got to be done because this is why so many people leave the organization. Because they were lured in under false pretenses and all you're interested is brownie points by bringing people into the organization. But if somebody isn't happy there, you should be more than willing just to let them go. See, but when they do go, you feel the need to label them as mentally diseased. They're throwaway. Jehovah's going to kill them, which is not the case. The one thing that gets me is Jehovah's Witnesses are more willing to forgive a child abuser before somebody that's left the organization. That in itself is extremely culty. There's something wrong with that way of thinking. But we are the warning label. We are the reviews. We give the perspective from somebody who has been in on the inside. And for the comments who say, those are my comment section, get on with your life. Drop it. Just leave us alone. Well, this is actually more about Watchtower than it is about Jehovah's Witnesses. But let's talk about that. Who's the one who dropped the gauntlet first with comments like mentally diseased? See, apostate wasn't strong enough. Watchtower had to add an adjective like mentally diseased apostate. So the name calling came from your end first, not from this end. We just give our perspective of what goes on in your organization. But to the trolls who like to leave thumbs down, to the trolls that like to attack channels, you are not deterring anybody. Believe me, 
I have dealt with a lot better than you, and I'm not going anywhere. How long am I going to be out here? I can't answer that. I know a lot of the YouTubers that were out here when I first started watching have come and gone. That's a personal decision. Some people are out here for several years, some people several months, some people make one video and move on. Other people are still out here, but that's all up to them. When they've had their fill, when they've had enough to say, they move on. I've thought a couple of times about pulling the plug on this channel, but something Watched How It Does always seems to reel me back in. I can honestly say I don't know how much longer I'm going to be out here, but learn to like it, Jehovah's Witnesses, because there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Anyways, guys, love to see your comments. You guys have a good day, and I'll be talking to you soon.